What's up guys? I am back with a brand new video, a new series I'm doing today. As you can see in front of you, I have a 12 box case of the 2016 Topps Doctor Who Timeless set. Uh, you're like wondering why are you doing all this Doctor Who? Well, I'm a big Doctor Who fan and uh, I was able to find this um, case on eBay. Got a, what I thought was a pretty good deal, way cheaper than what it was when it first came out. I really like this set and I decided to go ahead and uh, get one. So let's go ahead and crack into this. First time since two, it was uh, sealed back in 2016 that this case is seen in the light of day. So here we go. And I'm just gonna take a, a, a box off the top. Actually, I better cut it from the bottom so these come out right side up. I always do that wrong. Let's go ahead and open that this this way like this. And across the bottom. I can't say, like my X-Files, I can't say the brand new Doctor Who because this is not brand new, this is old. But like I said, I really like this set and um, so I decided, because the price was good, to go ahead and snag a box of this, or a box, a case of this. Um, lots of good stuff that comes out of this set. There's a lot of good autograph signers, a huge autograph signer list. Part of the reason I did it too is I wanted to get one of the, uh, I wanted to do like a mini master set of this uh, Doctor Who stuff. So here we go, I got my supplies ready. I got my table back here, I moved all my painting stuff. And I've got a better setup. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to go ahead and grab um, this top box right here. And I will move all the other ones out of the way. So I'm going to, as long as my phone doesn't give me problems like it did on the X-File stuff, I'm going to go ahead and try to film each one of these and kind of show you how things go. There's not a lot of uh, Doctor Who box breaks on, on YouTube. You'd be kind of surprised how few there is of the, of the trading cards. So I figured I'd add to the, the set of of uh, box breaks for this. So here we go. Box number one for my case of Doctor Who. Like I said, I really like this stuff. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is one of your two hits in the in the box is a medallion card. That's the one thing I don't like about it. But, um, you know, there are autographed versions of the medallion cards. They are nice looking. I just don't, I've never liked manufactured hits. And unfortunately, Tops has become notorious for manufactured crap that we, none of us like. At least, most of us don't anyway. So let's go. Here we go. Pack number one of the entire case. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on every base card because that will eat up a ton of time. But let's go ahead and check it out anyways. This is what they look like. You've never seen them before. And this is your first time. They've been out for a while. Close to four years now. That's what they look like. There are parallels in this. The greens are, uh, I think, one per pack. You also have blue, purple, red parallels. So you'll see one green every pack. You'll see some inserts. So here's a blue one, for example. That's a numbered card, numbered out of 99, 74 of 99. The Ice Warriors from one of the earlier Doctor Whos. And then you have some inserts, and then one of these greens in every pack. So let's go ahead and do this like that. There we go. All right. So you're either going to get an autograph or a relic card in this, and here's our medallion card in each box, and it's gonna be 21 of 25, Victoria Waterfield. So this is a shorter printed version. Oh, look at that, man. First medallion out of the case, and the medallions all slid off. It looks like it ripped off the, looks like it ripped off the uh, space where it was, and it's all messed up. That really sucks. Talk about a crappy start to a case, huh? Jeez. So there's our first hit in the case. Let's go ahead and keep going. There's, a, there's triple autographs, there's dual autographs, there's all sorts of good stuff in this. All right, Doomsday, I'm actually watching that right now. And there's a green parallel, there's some inserts. In fact, there's a double insert already. And then there is some base cards. Pack number three. Yeah, I don't know, let me know down in the comments below if you ever watched Doctor Who, are you a fan? I'd be curious to know. Okay, base cards, two inserts, and the 11th hour. My favorite doctor, Matt Smith. A lot of people like David Tennant as their favorite doctor. Um, totally get that, he's a great doctor, but uh, Matt Smith's where it's at for me. He was the first doctor I ever watched. That's that guy right there. Uh, when I first started watching Doctor Who, so he'll, he'll always be special to me because of that. And just base cards so far. Two inserts and then a green parallel. Oh, 
right. And got some more inserts. This is one of the, uh, what is this, the historical figures inserts. This is Robin Hood. And then two more and a green. All right. Next pack. Okay, base, base. Insert of the second master, Time Travelers, the 10th Doctor, and the Green Parallel of Cold War. If you guys are doing well out there in YouTube land, excited to get this in and rip into some Doctor Who. For me, if you don't like these videos, that's fine. You don't have to watch them. I'm not forcing anybody to, but... Um, like I said, if you are a Doctor Who fan, I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you uh, enjoy the cards and the breaks. And, you know, maybe you can, maybe you want to go out and find one of these boxes. They are getting much, much harder to find nowadays. So uh, if you can find them, they're, they're reasonably priced. Uh, you can get one still for somewhat of a decent price. A little bit cheaper than what they were when they first came out, but not a lot. They've kind of maintained their, their value. Uh, Fires of, of Pompeii, the 12th Doctor. That is the Zygon Invasion of the 12th Doctor. End of Time. And my man, the 11th Doctor right there, speaking of, Matt Smith. Inserts and Green Parallel. So with a case, I'm hoping that I can that I can complete an entire Green Parallel set. We'll see, we'll see how this goes, but hopefully I can com complete an entire Green Parallel set of the base cards. We'll see what happens. Robot, Ice Warriors, there's the the regular version of Ice Warriors, you can see the difference. <clears throat> Exterminate, the Daleks, got the first Doctor, and a green parallel of Doctor Who the movie with uh, Paul McGann. Alright. Base, there's River Song, Time of Angels, that was a great episode. Midnight. Rose Tyler, she's a great companion, and the first Doctor again. So the insert sets aren't crazy big. I mean, as you can see, I've already gotten several duplicates of some of the inserts. They're not, it's not a crazy, crazy big set for each of them. So you should be able to easily complete one of those, so one of the, the insert sets in one box, depending on which uh, insert set it is. The Snowmen. The Last of the Time Lords. And then some more inserts and another green parallel. All right, base cards, more base cards, another Exterminate, another one of the Victory of the Daleks, Daleks Across Time inserts, the Eighth Doctor, that's Paul McGann, Eighth Doctor from the movie, and uh, this is that same card you just saw, Time of Angels, but it's that green parallel, you can see the difference there, so. All right, next pack. Base. Ah, Rise of the Cybermen. Just watched it not that long ago again. Great episode. We've got Annie Pond and Rory Williams, the first set of companions for 11th Doctor. Insert and the 10th Doctor. And the green parallel. All right. Base cards. We've got uh, Winston Churchill. Historical figure, third doctor, green parallel. I'm going to speed up a little bit because I'm already at nine minutes. I made this video an hour long. Not that my phone would do that, but. Ambassadors of Death, inserts, and green parallel. Insert the 12th Doctor and a green parallel. All right, so we got about, uh, looks like six packs left. Still looking for our second hit of the box. And base cards. Got our two inserts and green parallel. Gotta be real careful because some of these top 
base card, they're getting a bent corner, which is really kind of annoying. It's the way they're coming out of the packs. So um, and I try to be careful because I don't want to have half of my base cards be bent and then you know mess up my uh, my set of base cards for a mini master set, which is one of the reasons why I got a, an actual full case of this stuff. Okay, we got our inserts and green parallel. Oh, this one feels super thick. This might actually have a... Well, maybe not. Just felt thicker. Thought maybe it might have been a relic card. Okay, inserts, green parallel. Down to our last two packs. So one of these packs should have our second hit. Got a red parallel this time. These are numbered, I believe, out of 25. The girl who waited. Yep, 12 of 25. So our second parallel of the box and inserts and green parallel. So this should be the hit, the other hit in the box. Unless I got shorted out of, right out of the gate. Um, this should have an auto or a mem and it is thin so it should have an auto in here. Oh, and it is right there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and flip it around and see who it is. Our auto is Claire Higgins as oh. Ohila, how, I don't know how you pronounce her name? That is a numbered one, numbered three out of fifty. It is a blue parallel, or you can see the blue text on here. It's not just a silver color. So there's our first hit out of the case, thirty-five out of fifty. First autograph. So there you go, guys. There is a box of to uh, tops Doctor Who timeless. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video, and I will catch you on the next one.